Social protection consists of policies and programs which are designed to reduce poverty and accountability by promoting efficient labor markets, diminishing people's exposure to risks, and enhancing their capacity to manage economic and social risks such as unemployment, exclusion, sickness, disability, and old age. Dr. Stephen Key, the world leading social policy expert, in his keynote address noted that poverty and disability are interlinked. You know, you're more likely, if you have a disability, to be living in poverty. But if you're living in poverty, you're more likely to have a disability as well. You don't have the proper diet, you live in less healthy conditions, and you're more likely to fall susceptible. If you don't get vaccinations, as we've heard already, a couple of stories of children getting polio because there isn't the right vaccinations in place. And they're inextricably, inextricably linked. We have to eradicate poverty, but we also have to give as much support as we can to, to people with disabilities. He continued to encourage the government to invest in the people living with disabilities as they possess a wealth of talents which are of importance in improving the gross domestic product. A recent study a few years ago showed around middle income countries that the losses of productivity of not investing in people with disabilities can actually reach around 7% of GDP. It's a massive loss that countries lose by not having proper investment. In attendance was the Senator and Chair of the Kenya Disability Parliamentary Committee of the Albinism Society of Kenya, Isaac Maura, who pointed out the need to invest in universal health care coverage to avoid financial strain when seeking medical evaluation and in turn reduce the dependency on social welfare and communities. It's very clear that we need to invest in universal uh, coverage so that we don't leave anyone behind. In any case, we are talking about 0.11% of our GDP, which is translated to 12 billion shillings. Currently, our national budget is at 3.1 trillion. So this is really a drop in the ocean, yet it would go a long way with regards to reducing the dependency burden on social welfare and communities. He continued to say that the people living with disabilities are not valued in the country and are seen as not deserving because they do not contribute much in the economy. The problem, moderator, in this country is that persons with disabilities are seen as undeserving. That is the problem. They don't deserve anything. And when you are giving them, you are giving them too much. In any case, what is the you know, level of productivity or what benefit is it to invest in persons with disabilities? That is the biggest challenge ever. The Chief Social Policy UNICEF Kenya, Osman Niang, was at the conference and he spoke on the need for the government in partnership with various stakeholders to come up with a database that can keep disability statistics and have evidence to help monitor their progress. That is the role of international organizations who are working daily with government, like how we can come up with strong disability statistics. Because at least when we go to parliaments, when we go to the Senate, when we go to all these make, at least we have something tangible that we can show like this is the problem, this is how it stands, this is how it is happening. He continued to point out that the only way to solve the disability problem is by using the human right-based approach as it involves everyone leaving no one behind. We can only address disability using a human right-based approach. Human right-based approach. And I think for those who know the Sustainable Development Goal, it is built on the human right-based approach, which is like we have to leave no one behind. The research presented identified how social protection can enable persons with disabilities to overcome barriers they face, including the higher cost of living and inadequate incomes. If the country is to move into a middle-income economy, no one should be left behind because they suffer from a disability. No efforts should be spared in including them in all social protection systems. For Brand Plus TV Business News, I am Daisy. Wambua.